Inside the depths of the madness of the economic system lies a fraud which masks the reality of our current situation. Herein lies the awakening. Today we will discuss five charts that prove the financial crisis is brewing. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Let's get into these charts today. I want to show you how important this really is. Let's begin with China. Obviously, we've been discussing China recently, and we can determine that they have decided to change policy as of late. So we can see, though, that they are holding steady at this current rate of 6.3966 to the US dollar. So we know specifically that they are ready and willing to do what it takes to stabilize their currency or their economy or what have you. They're willing to move those numbers and not necessarily continue on just with the same policy. We know they're doing this primarily because of their exports. Their country is weakening and unfortunately they need to get into some more new types of activities, one being a policy that they've had put in place for years and they are reversing but are holding steady on that right now. I have a video tomorrow where I will be discussing uh, more on this but let's move on. We're looking at the consensus GDP growth expectations and constantly, I mean, I, I'm really glad that there's a chart for this now that I could bring to you because I've talked about it so many times before. How many times did we have to hear this that, okay, this year it's not going to be too good, but next year we're going to have, let's say, 1% growth and the next year it'll be 2% and then everything will be normal off after that. I mean, we saw this taking place after the crash and it has been going on ever since constantly suggesting that okay this year not so good but next year will be better and the year after will be great and every single year they do this but the growth expectations are always revised downward by the time it gets there why because it's not working it's stagnating here's the chart which shows you that Household leverage ratio is still off the chart. Yes, it did come down since the financial crisis, but it's still incredibly high. There's no need for this right here. And we see the amount of debt that basically people are in on every single level. They have put all of their money, if you look at in Canada, for example, I think it was a number of 160% in this range. So it doesn't surprise me to see this when you look at it and it's basically mirroring what's happening in the US. People have spent every single dime, then they go into their debt, spend up as much as they can, but they are at the very, very end right now because they can't borrow anymore. They've maxed out and they can't pay back as much as they would like to, so they're basically stuck. But that means the retailers are stuck. That means the economy is stuck. That's another chart for you. Uh, that's the reality of what we're into. Let's look at what I wrote about in my book about debt. And in this case here, I'm talking about China and the US and how China owns the debt of the US. As of the last few decades, the US has been able to continue to consume at its unbelievable level because of the debt is being purchased mostly by China. China, among others, are financing the American sum consumption bubble, which leaves a certain instability in the future. Think about that right now. If somebody is dumping in money from one side, sure, you can let it out at, let's say, the back door. You can let that money out, but what happens if the money stops flowing in through the front door? Well, you have a big problem. That's what's going on right now on a personal level, on a national level, cities and states and provinces around the world are experiencing the same thing. Too much debt, not enough income, they raise taxes, the people basically become more poor because you have to pay more tax and of course the way it works is that the, the people basically can't afford what they used to, the economy goes down and then it's a, basically a self-fulfilling prophecy from there. Let's move on to this chart here. 
weekly announced buybacks S&P 500. How many times did I have to cover the fact that stock buybacks are pushing up the market? Here's a chart showing you the buybacks. Look how many buybacks are going on right now. It is absolutely skyrocketing and these numbers are really haven't been this high for many many years once again going back into the lehman crisis era this is what happens when companies have all this money on their hand but they don't necessarily want to invest it they use it for stock buybacks it's not individuals buying up the markets it is the own companies buying up the markets or central banks that's what's going on right now and you cannot deny that Okay, last but not least for the charts, commodity exporters are vulnerable. This is the net commodity exports as a percentage of GDP. Really an excellent chart here. Actually, you, you might want to stop the video or, or look at the link in the description afterwards to just take a look at this. Take a look at the countries which do these ma major commodity exports. And there's the food, metals, energy, precious metals. And you can see how... What we have here, for example, on the right, you see Russia, and they are obviously very vulnerable to energy prices. So you can you know, look through this for yourself. I think that's amazing to see this because you can then predict when you have a crash occurring in a particular commodity, you can see that, okay, Russia is going to be affected when the oil prices decline. And you can see who's affected by the metals declining or the precious metals declining. Very important here to, to know this information if you're going to predict uh, the crashes and how they affect and then, of course, the ripple effect down the line. Something that I'm going to be talking about actually in a future program that I have uh, being built up right now. And then we go to this. We know that there are the elite. We know that there are the big corporations which control everything. Goldman Sachs happens to be one of those. Now this year you can see the masters of the eurozone and you can see all of these different positions are advisors or different positions basically within Goldman Sachs. Whether that's Belgium, Germany, Greece, Italy, France, Ireland, all within Goldman Sachs. And this is the way it works. If you want a bailout for your company, well, then all you need to do is position him in or position a few of the high ranking members in the government and you will have your bailouts. This is what happens over and over again. Look at Mario Monti being put in position like a king inside of Italy. Look at uh, Greece as well, Papademos, same situation as they don't even get to be voted in a lot of the times now. They are just placed like a king at the throne and this is how it works. Speaking of Greece, Greece's socialist Pasok party joined the main opposition on Sunday saying it would not back the Prime Minister Tsipras if he calls a confidence vote following a rebellion in the governing party over a new bailout deal. They don't want to accept the bailout. They're saying, yes, you did sign for it, but we don't want to go through with it. And you can't just do that. So the they're actually fighting for this. And now Cyprus is basically struggling to find people who will side with him. Cyprus had to rely on opposition groups, including PASOK, to win the parliamentary, parliamentary majority on Friday in favor of the $86 billion bailout program. Greece is third with the international creditors since 2010. He's struggling. I can see why, because the people don't want the bailout. They know that. And then the people in the parliament are basically voting along with that. But it is the ruling class, the elite, the technocrats, and everybody on top of this government that are pulling the strings. Don't ever think that you can make any changes because, quite frankly, this is the way it works. Now, I'm talking about changes at that high level. We need to make changes at the grassroots to affect what what happens up there to basically consider them obsolete let's look at this last but not least a little bit unrelated but i wanted to show you this we're looking at herman goring basically this is an individual on the nuremberg trials he said this naturally the common people don't want war this is understood but the people can always be brought to the bidding of the leaders that is easy 
All you have to do is tell them they are being attacked and denounce the pacifists for the lack of patriotism and exposing the country to danger. How many times have we heard this in the U.S. today saying that if you don't really go along with killing 1.5 million Iraqis, the Afghanis, people in North Africa and the Middle East, other countries around the world, bombing them to death, then you are not a you are not basically supporting the troops and all of this nonsense. That's what goes on. They use the exact same thing in the financial industry. If you buy gold, you're seen as an individual who's, you know, really all, all your right wing and you are crazy and you are, and then they use all these little silly names. And I even, even at a loss of words just talking about this, how silly it is. But this is propaganda. This is the way they do this. They've been doing it long before Germany. And this is what goes on right now, today, in the country that you're in, I'm sure. So pay attention closely to that propaganda and try to burst through it on your own. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up just to let you know much more information coming down the line. If you notice what I did yesterday, I had posted two videos, one which was you know the daily video, but then I cropped out some of the information. So it was just focused on oil and gasoline. And then I put that because I wanted to put that as part of the e-course specifically because I'm building up that e-course as much as I possibly can. I hope you appreciate that. Um, didn't want to necessarily post it on a separate day. I just you know wanted to add that in there so hope you appreciate that and last but not least if you found this video informative this is the uh, look inside feature on Amazon so if you go over to there you can basically flip through the money GPS and see if you like it